Hey Trubaholics, welcome back to another video. And if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys like what you see and decide to subscribe and become part of the troubled family. All right, so going on to today's video, um, I am struggling with some shingles again. <laughs> Woohoo, yay me, but I'm filming for you guys. It's late as hell, it's 3.10 in the morning. I had a late start to uh, filming and stuff like that, so yeah but um it's gonna be a vampy or if you want to call it gothy looking smoky eye i'm excited and i have another video for you guys so that makes me happy and i hope that you guys enjoy it so let's get into the video all right starting off with this p louise base this is in the shade two one of my favorites and i'm just gonna pack that onto the lid i already cut out the eyebrows so if you haven't, you can do it in this step as well. For this look, I use a Glam Light Pizza palette. I love this palette so much. My boyfriend bought it for me and I haven't used it a lot, but I used it today. Look how pretty it is. And the first shade I'm dipping into is the shade Pepperoni. I'm applying that right above the crease, but you can start off in your crease and then blend it upwards. Okay, that way you don't have like this stark, just random line there. And then you do have to work this color up. All right, and next I'm dipping into the shade Marinara. This shade is so pretty. It's like a deeper shade of like the red. And this one, I keep it in the crease. So I start blending it into the crease and I blend it right in using windshield wiper motions. And once it's blended, it should look like this. Next, I'll be using Bada Black Base by P. Louise as well. I love their bases, you guys. And I'm applying that right on the lid. I'm gonna be cutting the lid, not a crease. You're not cutting a crease, but you're pretty much just applying this to the lid. And I don't go all the way up. I apply it, um, how do I explain it? Maybe like three quarters of the way of where you want it to be. Because when you apply the shadow, you'll see why. You just want it all to blend out. You don't want to just have this black line. You know what I'm saying? You'll see what I mean. And that's how it's supposed to look once you're done with the base. Now going into the shade Black Olives in the palette, I'm gonna be applying that right on the black base and I make sure I cover every little spot of the lid any lines you don't want to have any lines and then I start to blend it very carefully little by little the edges and I work this up little by little okay you guys I don't just do it all at once I little by little just blend upwards going back into the shade marinara and I'm going to be blending the black and the marinara shade so that's the second shade we applied I'm gonna be blending them together and I go back and forth with this step until the blend is where I want it. And for this step, I'm using the Morphe M330 brush, just in case you guys wanted to know. I absolutely love this brush. Now dipping into the shade Garlic in the palette, I'm gonna put this on the brow bone. I like to do this step when I feel like I blended a little too high. So I want it to be exactly like the other eye. So that's what I'm doing. Now to rip off the tape. Woo, that hurt a little bit. And then on the bottom lash line, I'm applying the black, which is the black olive shade once more. Blending that in carefully because I've been having some eye issues lately. And since this is a smoky eye, applying this in the bottom lash line is a must. Now I'm blending out the shade Marinara again. I'm gonna put that underneath. So the same steps I did up top, I'm doing at the bottom. So here's Marinara and I'm blending that in very nicely, connecting it with the Marinara from the top. And it's looking good so far. Look how smoky it's looking, yes. And then I go in with the shade of Pepperoni next and I do clean the brush off in between. Now using a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to blend that out really good, like the edges, so it doesn't look crazy, it looks nice and blended. 
Next, using the KVD Cake Pencil, I'm gonna apply that to my waterline. I absolutely love this pencil so much. It works so good and it sets itself. Then I'm gonna use the NYX Glitter Primer. And I like to use this to pretty much apply my highlight. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm applying the NYX Primer. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Pro HD um, Amplified Palette. Yes, Amplified Palette. And I'm just gonna apply that highlight to the inner corners. Look how pretty that looks. Ugh. And then I'm using these Ioni lashes. These are from the Dollar Tree, you guys. They are so pretty. I gotta get more of these. And so here I am applying them. They look so pretty, you guys. I really love my eye look. I wasn't planning on doing a look like this, but it happened. And then, of course, my telescopic uh, mascara. This is by L'Oreal. Absolutely love this mascara. It's my go-to. Applying that to my lower lashes, and then I also apply it to my top lashes just to combine the falsies and my natural lashes. If you guys have watched this far, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Mwah. Alright you guys, that is it for the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Bye! Of course, this one came out so much better. So just give a look at this one. Give it some loving.